The dengue outbreak in Belize has residents and the Ministry of Health on high alert with the Vector Control Unit out in full swing, providing awareness on the disease. They are making sure that the four districts where the number of persons infected with dengue fever are eliminating breeding sites for the Aedes aegypti mosquito. This is in an effort to prevent further spread and cases of the disease. Vector Control Unit Chief of Operations Kim Bautista explains what residents can do in their homes to help the situation. Uh, as a householder, uh, on a weekly basis, it won't take you more than a few minutes to take a little walk around the yard and identify containers that are there um, more than likely not in use and, 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 and uh, serving as a reservoir for, for mosquitoes to breed in. Uh, simple things eggshells, coconut shells, drums, bottles, all of these things that, that, that are um, water holding containers that are not properly stored or disposed of. Uh, that's, that's what's leading to, to, to the problem because you look at um, urban areas whereby the housing is so close and, and it be, might be a neighbor with tires in his or her yard and the mosquito will have a flight range of a couple hundred yards. So within a couple hundred yards, you have several persons being exposed. The spread was detected via laboratory confirmed cases, but there is concern that many more cases are undocumented. As has been reported, the increase was mostly concentrated in the north, with Orange Walk District recording the largest number of cases, 230 to be exact. Corazol is showing about 100 less than that, followed by Stan Creek with 105, and Kaya just under the 100. We had seen a, an increase of um, more than usual at the beginning of the year, but it had been a gradual increase. However, in the last five to six weeks, we have noticed a, a drastic um, in, increase in the number of cases. Um, as mentioned earlier, it was mostly concentrated in the north, um, started in Orange Walk, then it started spreading to Corozal. Uh, we had some small numbers in, in, in the Keys. However, um, since the, we have noticed this increase the last five to six weeks, we have seen an increase in the southern part of the country, Stan Creek District to be more specific, and also in the Cayo District. Um, there are communities that are, of course, having higher numbers than others. Intervention is a shared responsibility between the Ministry of Health and the populace. Bautista speaks on the intervention strategy going forward. The first one is looking, uh, acknowledging or recognizing the symptoms so, uh, and seeking health care. So there's the fever that's persistent, um, there's pain behind the eyes, there's back pain, joint pain, and, and at times there's rash. Those are the telltale signs. So you develop these symptoms, you try and seek medical attention because what that does is that by you seeking uh, attention at one of our healthcare facilities, the alert system triggers a, a notification to key personnel to respond. So uh, you have a case in a particular neighborhood, it triggers an alert, uh, we conduct an investigation and then vector control carries out its interventions, spraying and, and, and uh, reducing mosquito breeding sites and, and those things. Uh, like in the south, in, you have some cases in Bea Vista, in, in Independence, in Santa Cruz uh, village. So we've been doing some mobilization in, in, in some of those strategic points. Uh, I, I think that's that's uh, one of the things that, that we're trying to do, uh, aside from doing our sensitization through the media talk shows and things like that. Dwayne Moody for News 5.